So we're well aware now that bonds with different maturities have different yields on them, but we haven't really looked at why that's the case. So that's what we'll start to do in this video as we have a look at the expectations hypothesis. So first off, let's just have a look at these possible investment options using zero coupon bonds to invest over a four year period. So you've got getting a four year zero coupon bond, getting a three year zero coupon bond, and then investing the proceeds into a one year zero coupon bond, so on and so forth. Most simply, the expectations hypothesis says that the expected returns on all of these options are equal. So we have equal expected returns. And obviously not just for a four year term, I just did that as an example, but you can generalize that out to any time period. So this can be easily summed up with the following. The forward rate is equal to the expectation by the market of the future short rate. And a short rate is just a one year interest rate. Specifically, this RN is the rate for the one year period ending n years from now. So remember that our forward rate was defined as the rate that satisfies this equation, where we put Fn in here. And we're just going to fill in this, since we know that under the expectations hypothesis,